Greetings, heathens and heretics, and welcome to some uh, additional curricular activity uh, in the middle of our usual schedule. Um, you may remember our good mate Gav from a couple of previous episodes, the, the wrestling episode and the movies episode, I think, wasn't it? Um, so all of this, Gav coming on this podcast, has clearly had some kind of effect, because last Friday was his first ever metal show, uh, which just happened to be Municipal Waste in Bristol. Um, Padre couldn't be there, unfortunately, because he'd already uh, disappeared. But we all had a cracking night, but we thought we'd just drag Gav back onto this podcast just to see what his experience was actually like as a as a man of, you know, what are we? We're <clears throat> latest 30s, <clears throat> um, early-ish 40s, perhaps. Um, and what, what the experience was like, because as far as we could see, you had an absolute fucking blast. But first things first, what... What was it? What was the feeling like before going? So, I think you know all of it was all new. So I've known uh, Padre since the first day of uni, so twenty plus years ago. But Steve, I think you know we, we met in uni once upon a time when uh, you'd come down to Cardiff. But everybody else was new. Never really been out in Bristol before. Certainly never been to the Marble Factory, and uh, a first metal show. So. Got the day off, drove down to Bristol, met up with you fuckers, Weatherspoon's lunch, and some beers to start the day, and we were off and running. Well, we we know how to treat you with you know classy lunch and a real <laughs> experience, and and Ponzi yeah. overpriced beer. My 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 plans were long in the making. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was a bit unfortunate you weren't there. To be fair, but twenty plus years to come to, and I wasn't there. Look, it was. I'll, we'll quickly talk about the gig. Yeah, the gig was at a, a place called the Marble Factory in Bristol, which was apparently is an old tile factory, um, and it still felt like a fucking factory inside. Um, but it was quite cool nonetheless. Um, we had a quick chat with with Ryan Waste while we were there, which will be up in a couple of days. But yeah, Gav, for your first ever metal show, I think that was quite a unique, a unique setting for it. I reckon it was. It wasn't like your average venue. So, yeah, I think that the, the layout was was pretty good. Because everything had its own little distinct area. You know, yeah. a lot of these kind of smaller venues, everything gets crammed together and you get your merch in the corner. The queue for the bar is intermingled with the crowd. And it's just, you know, one big heaving mass. Whereas there was never really a queue for the bar. There's a massive bar area, massive merch area, completely out in the open. And then when you went into uh, where the bands were, that was there in its own own entity. So in terms of setup, I thought it was absolutely brilliant venue. Yeah, I, I agree. To be fair, I think it was quite a cool layout. But it's um, we'll, we'll talk about the rest of it in a minute. But um, turning up, then you walk into this into this place full of reprobates like us. What what were your first impressions? I think I was slightly taken away, uh, taken aback by the uh, the Ewok. <laughs> Which uh, yeah. I, I think he had shorts on, which I can only imagine he'd borrowed off maybe Cliff Richard from the 80s. Uh, incredibly tight, short PE shorts. Nothing else. That's, was that's a fresh paper. Yeah, 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 unfortunately. Maybe about five foot two and just covered in hair. <laughs> <laughs> and one slimy motherfucker as well. Yeah, when he went over the top, uh, there was uh, some 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 definite grease involved. Oh God, it was uh, there. There were uh, for your first gig, there were some stinking motherfuckers at that gig. There really were, absolutely grim. It just smelled of bad cheese, you know. It's oh God. Um, but that I mean, the mosh pit. As soon as I mean, we got there when um, undeath had already started. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and it it was already sweaty in there i mean the, the the general place it was a pretty it's a pretty hot day to be fair anyway yeah it was but yeah it was wasn't it it in there it was sweaty and that pit was already going from must have been just gone seven o'clock so it was only going to get worse from there <laughs> in terms of the cheesy smell <laughs> <laughs> you threw yourself in the pit during municipal waste which which was one of padre's prerequisite sort of requests yeah. That it must happen. <laughs> yeah. 
So uh, and um, shout out Bean because seemed to be your 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 guide into a circle pit, but it it was it, it was it was quite cool because I turned around. I was quite close to the barrier, turned around. You were fucking gone. You and Bean had gone. You disappeared. So I was like, I'd gone to the bar, whatever. But no, you're in the fucking pit. Just before I'd gone in, somebody had come absolutely crashing down <laughs> right by me and Bean. And uh, it, it was amazing. Just everybody's reaction was almost to put a bit of a barrier up between everybody else, lift them up off the floor, check they're all right. And then fucking throw them back in. <laughs> yeah, mosh pit et- etiquette. It's um, it's it's like one of those unwritten rules. Well, it's, it's probably it, been written somewhere, but well, it well it is. But I think you know bands like that that have a very um, a very fun sort of uh, manifesto. Yeah, you know, it's not it's not like a you know, Lib Biscuit Woodstock '99 where you know hate you know sort of almost anger and. Hatred, etc., is 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 the word of the day. It's 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 about yeah, we're having a good time. We want to enjoy ourselves, and we ain't going to do that if we break our necks. So yeah, I mean, it's the what, right what, way for that. When I came home, Helen obviously said to me, you know, you know, what was it like there? And one of the first things I said was, do you know what? There was hardly any dickheads. Where you know you can go to other gigs and you'll get people who are absolutely hammered before they've even got there um you know doing all kinds of drugs whatever and just basically making tits of themselves or wanting to start a fight or spewing up somewhere and there's just none of it everyone was there just to be involved in the music i can't i i I don't think i've ever really been at a gig and actually been like properly wasted like because i think i I have have. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I, I a, lot of, a lot of people go to um go go to gigs and they they think that they've got to be wasted because that's the done thing. But like, I think the metal gigs a lot of the time because you know, especially if you're going to go in the pit and stuff like that, you know, you're going to have to like do a certain level of like physical exertion. So you can't really be uh, kind of falling over drunk. I mean, yes, some people do. And like you know, there, there'd be quite a few people there that were probably a bit stoned, you know, had a few, had a bit had a few joints or something. But and the occasional person that's on something a bit stronger. But I mean, I've seen more like kind of pissed up wankers when I've gone to see like um, the, no disrespect, but like a hardcore shows. I remember when I yeah. saw Hatebreed in Bristol years ago? That was like there were a lot of people being dickheads there, like doing fucking poppers and stuff before they were going in and stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not like you know. It's not like going to like a, some shitty nightclub in on a Thursday night or a Saturday night. And getting yeah, aggro. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think? I mean, we'd had a few, you know, of overpriced and spom- somewhat too strong Ponzi Bristol beer. But do you know if, if you would if you were smash Friday night, Gabby, it wouldn't it wouldn't have added to the experience, would it? No, I don't think so. I mean, um, yeah, you know, I was I was really keen to kind of get down the front and uh, get in the pit. And I think, yeah, if you were smashed, the likelihood of you ending up on the floor was would just be too great. Yeah, it, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. But you know, we 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 we're, we're of a more mature variety these days, so we can control ourselves most of the time. Um, what did you think of municipal waste? I, I thought they were brilliant. I mean, I'd um, listened to them a hell of a lot over the last month um, since I booked the tickets. They'd been a, a personal favourite in terms of uh, running to, as I was training for the Cardiff Half Marathon. Fucking mental, uh, run to that. Just yeah, really- even, I, even I don't run to metal. <laughs> um, and uh, they just put on an amazing show. And it's, it's crazy when you think, you know, they did a, a set list of 25 songs and they were on stage for... 60 minutes yeah you know they just absolutely just rattle through them but the crowd just loved it the crowd just absolutely loved it the you know the one thing that probably just let the whole thing down was just the sound mix yeah it was a weird one that wasn't it speaking to to dave from black city afterwards about shows there apparently it's never been like that before i think we just got unlucky which is a shame yeah because the the vocals were just muffled 
Yeah. Whenever, whenever he spoke, when there was there was no music on, you could hear him perfectly. But then, yeah. as soon as everything else came up, you could you could barely hear him at times. Yeah, yeah, it was. But I think well, one thing about municipal waste is if if there's bad sound, they'll always make up for that with just sheer energy and. You know, like you say, they just rattle through this set. It's completely fucking relentless. And yeah, like, yeah, the, the place went nuts for them anyway. They could have sounded even worse. I think the place still would have gone nuts. We've we've been to gigs over the years where the sound has been just fucking appalling. You know, and festivals over the years have always been bad. Things are getting a bit better. That's probably the, the one poor sounding show I've been to in quite a few years. So you, you got a bit unlucky, but, you know, it's, it's, it's small things. Big question is, though, any more? You coming yeah, again? Next? Yeah, who's yeah, who's next? Yeah, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, de- I'm definitely up for it again. I, I, I really, really did enjoy it. I think, um, you know, we, we caught about half of Undeath. Probably not for me. Nah. Gel, I actually really liked and probably need to have a listen to them on Apple Music where I can kind of hear them a bit better. <laughs> um, but, um you know, I was still singing Slime and Punishment a couple of days after. It was just an earworm that would not leave my head mm-hmm. after the gig. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd definitely go see them again. But, you know, if there's a, a another gig in the in the near future, which we can all align and go to together, I'm definitely in. 100 fucking percent. 100 percent. It, it, was, it, was, it was a great well, I mean, for us coming from London. It was a nice change of scenery as well. Yeah. About a band like Maybe, I don't know, like, who would you recommend Gav to see next? I mean, see Municipal Waste, that's that. I mean, that and that's that in itself is, you know, a lot of people's first metal gigs might be something like, you know, one of the big bands or something, but uh, that's quite uh, out of left field choice is your first metal gig. So, oh, like, pretty- you know, what, what, what does he do next? Does he go and see one of the big bands? Like, does he go and see, like, a Metallica show or does he go for, like, another smaller band smaller venue like like maybe like um, someone like opus if they tour or um someone a bit i don't know what do you reckon it, it's worth <coughs> excuse me i'll say um keep an eye on on announcements for the um for next year because we're, we're starting to see them and they're going to start trickling in because i mean obviously big bands if you're gonna we're being a bit cautious with big big then um big gigs anyway just because of the cost which again ridiculous so I don't. If you want to see Metallica, you're looking at 100 quid a ticket, and as much as it's a it's a day out, I think you need to really be a Metallica fan to justify that kind of money because yeah. it's just yeah. it's at this point something like that. You know, that was a 25 quid gig for three bands, a good night out. You know, you're getting your money's worth. So you you, you kind of want to pick and choose. If you want to go something a bit bigger, then you know you what you want to really think about it. But there'll there'll be stuff in the new year into the summer. So, the most important thing is you're going to see bands you fucking like. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's it. You know, it's, this this is where you sort of go through your play re- playlists on Spotify and start discovering things and and seeing what's out there, um, checking out the album releases and reviews and and whatnot. You, you know, you don't have to throw yourself in big time, yeah. but you know, you, if you ain't you ain't going to discover another new band if if you don't make a bit of effort. Yeah, I think you know, I was a bit lucky with it being municipal waste because. I think you'd mentioned that you were going to a concert in Bristol and I just kind of reached out and just said, well, you know, where is it? Who is it? And um, I think it was through listening to like music from Tony Hawk's. So Suicidal Tendencies were on there. And then Municipal Waste was one of the ones that would always come up as, if you like this, you're like this. So I had listened to a couple of Municipal Waste tracks previously. Um... And I just, as soon as I started listening to probably more of their later albums, I think the first album, maybe not so much, but the later ones, um, just good, fun, smash mouth metal. And that's, that's probably the biggest thing because because they are fun. It's not like death yeah. metal is, you know, you say about undeath, they're not my thing either. I don't quite get it, but it's not so much fun, whereas municipal waste are fun. And that's what makes all the difference, I think. Makes them more accessible. Yeah. But it's one thing to say, ask you, are you going to go to another gig? But are we making a metalhead out of you? That's the next step. Ever since the, the pod started, um, I've listened to more metal. I mean, I've always listened to 
metal songs. Yeah. Um, and I think it's one of these things. As soon as I said to people, oh, I'm going to go to this gig, and they were like, really? But as soon as you start to say to people, yeah, but you probably like some metal songs. You just don't realize that they're metal. Yeah, and then as you start true. to kind of, you know, Guns and Roses and stuff like that, they're like, oh, yeah, 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 I do, I do like that. So, but even when the new um, Metallica album came out and you were banging on, I mean, I had that on on a, on a park run one Saturday morning, only 20 minutes of it because I <laughs> had to wait for the rest of the other 55 for a longer run. <laughs> Uh, it's fucking, I mean, from our point of view, it was great fun as well, because the worst thing that could have happened is you didn't enjoy it or it, it you know, it, it it didn't go the way as planned sort of thing. But I think overall, it was just a, it was just a fucking I just, great night out. I just Bean at the front and I kind of looked at Bean and like, I could see Bean, and like Bean's going, oh, is he going to go in the pit? Is he going to go a pit? And I literally just went, right, that's it. And just stormed past him. And he, as I'm going around, I could literally look at him, look, looking in and he's literally like, come on. <laughs> He made yeah. it fucking night. Uh, it, 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 it was great fun. Shout out Bristol as well. It, it, was, it was nice to have a bit of a change of scenery. Um, even though the venue was in the weirdest part of town, that felt a little bit... Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. is it is it, is it, it, it going to be a road to Damascus moment? That, that is the thing. That, if, you see, if I had been there, I would have been able to perform some form of baptism in the pit, you know, with the holy <laughs> water... You know, and like he would have emerged from the pit, almost like a renewed a, a soul that had been saved. Yeah, no, but maybe it was probably better. Uh, wasn't there then? Having <laughs> received Padre's absolution, you know. Well, one of, one, of, one, of, one, of, one of Padre's seven sacraments. We 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 were next to the Pasti Emporium, and you would have been straight in there. That's Shut true. The fuck up. <laughs> right. Just because you've been to a municipal way show doesn't mean to say you can start fucking banging on about past. <laughs> fucking hell. All right. On that note, we'll um we'll we'll call it a night. Um yeah, thanks for coming on, Gav. Especially when you're ill. Um and uh nope. hopefully uh let's do this again sometime because it was a fucking great night. And uh yeah, you have to um come to London because it's it's a complete you probably come to London and you go, it's nowhere near as fun because London metal fans, sorry, London metal fans, we're all the same. Can be a little bit mm, not so enthusiastic, I say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a bit of that. So you know, but yeah. That... Oh, we saw that before. Yeah, we. Yeah, you know, I remember twenty years ago. Oh, whatever. Fuck off. Look, well, listen. Look, the, the the place you want to come <laughs> gig if it ever happens is fucking coming to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's 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 a road trip that's one step too far, I think. Thrash yeah. in the desert. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, right. Cheers, chaps. Uh I'll let you all go back into the night. And uh thanks everyone for listening. We'll be back in a couple of days with uh with our chat with Ryan Waste from Municipal Waste, which was just fucking lovely. So there you go. Um thanks for listening. Stay metal, see you in a couple of days. <laughs>